Welcome to Silver Bar Stacker, folks. I hope everybody's doing well and enjoying their Sunday. That's right, folks. Today is Sunday, and today we've got an important topic to discuss. That's right, folks. Each Sunday we gather here, and I try to come up with a topic for us to kind of focus on and for us to chat about. And, uh, you know, sometimes, like last week, for example, we focused on Johnson Matthey fractional pieces, right? And so, People find that interesting. Sometimes people don't find that interesting. A lot of people maybe aren't into collectible stuff, and so maybe they don't find that sort of discussion very interesting. Many people maybe are not collectors, but they might be stackers, right? Um, and many, many people, I would say a vast majority of people, are kind of like some sort of a combination of both. They're a combination of a you know, collector and a stacker, and no matter who we are, we're all kind of always kind of trying to make sure we're looking for a good deal, we're getting the best value on the purchases that we're making, because at the end of the day, it's all about kind of preserving value. You know, we want to preserve the history sometimes as collectors, but ultimately, as you know, the stacker in all of us wants to preserve the value right and so <clears throat> when it comes down to preserving value you really need to you know be a a, a shopper a, a savvy shopper right i talk about it all the time you got to be a savvy stacker right so you got to be a savvy shopper you got to shop the sales you got to look at the bottom line you got to make sure that you're circumventing any potential marketing gimmicks that are being thrown your way right and you need to ultimately look at hey what is how much is actually coming out of my wallet right at the end of the day uh, after making said purchase right and so you always need to make sure that you're comparing apples to apples and you know each store that you purchase from whether it be your local coin shop whether it be the wide array of different online shops that you could purchase from whether it be somebody that you're purchasing from peer to peer however you decide to purchase your bullion you ultimately uh, need to research prior to you know finalizing the deal and ultimately you will know how much at the end of the day that you paid for whatever it is that you purchased right and so let's take the combi bars for an example the combi bars are one of the few products that i would say that we have regularly on our website on the silverbarstacker.com website that we sell and this is also a product that you can commonly find at many many other stores now i'm not going to say that you could go to your local coin shop necessarily and they'll always have combi bars on hand but if you go to any big bullion store even if they don't have like a 100x you know silver combi bar they might have a gold combi bar they might have a platinum or palladium combi bar they might have just the loose grams maybe not in the combi bar set but they'll you'll get some sort of combi bars pretty much any big bullion store you go to st bullion money metals at max all these all these big stores even the small stores will have very very generic things like that most big stores will even have some of your 90 percent 40 percent all of your junk silver options at the SBS, we don't really have that kind of stuff. We're not really specialized in that stuff. And so maybe that might be one of the limitations of the Silver Bar Stacker website, whereas the bigger bullion stores like Money Metals, for example, I've got a screenshot here on the on um, the screen right now. Up top, you see a Volcombi Combi Bar. That's actually on the Money Metals website just this morning. I just took a screenshot of what their pricing is. And it's quite competitive, actually, the pricing if you look at it, right? $156.48 for just one Combi Bar. Wow, that's even better than SBS price. Not that, you know, not that every, everybody is bragging about how cheap SBS prices are. But hey, you know, I try. You know, my cost base is on a Combi Bar. In fact, the funny thing is, is that I actually sourced my Combi Bars, a vast majority of them. I bought them by boxes of 25 in fact from money metals it was part of a large trade we initiated where i purchased very very many combi bars from them because quite frankly when you're purchasing generics you know i don't mean to promote other businesses but money metals they're my friends you know they're one of my suppliers i've bought many things from them and you know they bought many things from me as well right we've done very very large trades with each other me, me and money metals and so I like money metals because, you know, when it comes down to generics, which is not something I specialize in, but that's something that they specialize in. I have had long conversations with money metals and they're like, you know, we don't like the numismatic stuff. We like, we just focus on weight. We focus on volume. We focus on getting a very, very good price and offering a very, very good price to our customers. I'm like, hey, that's cool. You know, and back when I used to 
work with them. They were their entry of barrier for actually purchasing stuff was very very hard. They only only accepted like check, wire, uh, paper check. You couldn't like pay by credit card. That wasn't even an option back when I used to buy from them. So I would like wire them money or whatever, and you know get get my stuff. So it was a very difficult process actually to buy from them. But the trade off was that I was getting a very very good price, you know. And so my cost base is actually on my combi bars is around 166 bucks, truthfully. Now, when it comes to the combi bars, in the market of competition, when I have got a, when I'm looking as a seller, if I want to move these units which I do, I do want to move my units for my combi bars, well then I've got to price them in accordance with what the market price is, right? And so, even though my cost base is $166 and change, well, I've got to price them at around $172.50. It's not the cheapest price, right? You could go to Money Metals and if you were savvy and you bought, bought them in bulk and, and whatnot, and you could get them for cheaper than $172.50, but it's just that for me, my cost base is actually $166 and change. And I'm barely even kind of breaking even on that price. The only reason I have it priced that low is that's one of the best value products actually on our website right now, on the Silver Bar Stacker website. And the reason it's priced that low is because it's just one of the items that we're, uh, we need to price that low because of the market price and because it's one of the things that we're kind of actively trying to sell off, right? And so we do have it priced very, very competitively. And, you know, you, you know if you're buying in bulk, like I said, you could maybe get a better price, but... 172.50 it's a pretty good price you know it's not much over the price that we pay right and then after you have to factor in our payment processing and website fees and our um shipping that we pay you know we we have free shipping on every freaking item on the website right so after we pay all those fees you know we're barely breaking even on a single unit there if 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 at all right and um so on, on our particular website, on Silver Bar Stacker website, like if you compare it to, you know, maybe some of the other items, that's on a fire sale right now. Our, we, we generally were hoping to be able to sell those around 200, but, you know, things didn't go our way. The price has consistently stayed pretty constant on them at around $1.50, $1.60 um, per gram. So that's kind of where we're stuck right now. Now, if you go to Money Metals, let's take a look. You know, you've got $156.48. Uh, now, obviously, you know, that comes with some caveats, right? If you're only buying one unit, if only if you're only buying nine units, let's say, your price is actually going to be $164.52, and this is pretty consistent. It's not consistent on the SBS website. For SBS website, everything is very, very transparent. Everything actually, what you see is the price that you see is the price that you get. So $172.50 is your all-in price that you see down there, right? Now, we have to factor in many, many things on uh, a lot of other stores actually most other stores have many other things that you have to factor in most people don't give you blanket free shipping like for example if you look at this example above money metals here they will give you <coughs> free shipping on all orders of 199 plus cool that's really nice you know i actually got this promotion in my email where they were also talking about the uh get a free kennedy 90% silver half dollar. You see that promo up up top? Uh, you get a 90% silver coin with your $500 purchase. Now, I looked at Money Metals um, junk silver options, and you know they have, they don't. You can't really buy Kennedys from them. They're very limited with their selection. You can buy bags of like $5 face, $10 face, and up from up from there. But the lowest denomination of junk silver you can even buy from Money Metals is $5 face. So that means you're committing to buying. 10 90 percent silver coins and you also don't know if they're going to be kennedy's or benji it's just a mixed bag of whatever's don't know the condition don't know what they are so they actually have those priced very competitively it's only about ten dollars and 90 cents about eleven dollars per coin but you have to commit to buying 10 there's no option for buying just one okay you can the only way you can get one coin on one 90 percent silver coin on money metals is if you spend out five hundred dollars and they give you a free one uh, which is a uh, to them an $11 value. Now, for SBS, on the SBS's website, we do not value junk silver 90% coins at $11. I'm sorry, but I've never purchased one. I've sold plenty. I've sold at a loss plenty of junk silver coins at $10 and even less. You know, we have actually an example of us selling a 50% 90% silver coin, 50 cent 90% silver coin for a dollar. So two dollars face, two two x face. So it happens by accident. It happened on an auction on whatnot. But generally speaking, we have never paid on average less than twenty bucks 
for a 90% silver coin. And the reason for that, that seems crazy. The, the reason for that is because we've only bought 1948 first year Benji. So if you're going to be obsessive and very particular about what you're buying, then yeah, you know. Uh, we bought those one at a time, so we, we paid on average about 20 bucks. So we actually have a set on our website. We have a set of two first year Benjis available on sale right now for 40 bucks. That's literally our cost basis because after I literally bought them in bulk at $20 per, per coin. So that's very, very expensive, but there was a reason I did that. It was because I wanted to have first year Benji sets available on the website. So I paid up, I paid up a premium thinking that, you know, people may be interested in, you know, people i have a tough time honestly selling them at twenty dollars a pop but we do sell them sometimes for people who are interested in just grabbing a first year benji set they, they grab them right so that's actually the only junk silver option we have you can't buy a single uh junk silver coin on the sbs website either right our only junk silver option is a full uh full 11 coin war nickel set and it first year benji set which contains two coins so you have to buy two 90 percent silver coins or zero that's the only option on the sps website on money metals website you have to buy no less than five dollar face bag so a minimum of 10 coins and you can go up and you can buy 500 bag of 500 coins if you want to for 40 you know forty thousand bucks or whatever it costs but i'm just saying you can't buy small quantities with money metals now if you want free shipping on money metals you're also going to have to uh, pay up right because they also require you to spend at least 199 dollars to get free shipping now on the sps website like i said before everything is free shipping if you buy a gram of silver and nothing else i'll ship that to you you know there's some caveats like for a gram of silver if you only buy a gram of silver i'm probably going to ship that to you stamp and an envelope because quite frankly it costs minimum four or five dollars to ship anything so um with you know with proper tracking and stuff like that so there are caveats with that, but I'm not gonna, I'm not going to make you pay seven dollars shipping flat rate for freaking everything unless you live in Canada, right? So there's some limitations for the SPS website. One limitation is if you live anywhere besides Canada or USA, you can't buy anything. We're we're limited in that aspect, right? That stinks. Also, a limitation is if you live in Canada, you got to pay pay a flat rate of thirty dollars for your shipping, which also stinks. But truthfully, we need to pay about that much to safely get it over to Canada with tracking and everything. Um, Everywhere else in the United States is free shipping. So the free shipping is included. Everything is included, you know. That's your out-the-door price. So I just need to make that very, very clear that when you are a shopper, don't just look at all the, oh, I get a free, you know, $11 coin or, you know, in SBS's case, a free $20 coin with your $500 purchase. whoop de doo Okay, you had to spend $500 on something that you don't even know if it's a good deal. Now let's take a look and see if these combi bars are a good deal. 156.48 is not the price you're paying. Everybody knows that. Everybody shops on these big bullion stores. They know how they operate. They say, yeah, you can buy a, a quantity of one to a million and you get this uh, horrible price and then you buy, you know, monster box, 15 monster boxes and you'll get the price, the, the promoted price. Now, who's going to buy 15 monster boxes? Okay. So in this case, you have to buy, you know, to get that price, you have to buy freaking <laughs> at least 10. So dropping ten, that's dropping fifteen hundred dollars. That's like almost buying a freaking ounce of gold at that point. So most people are gonna probably buy somewhere in the range of one to nine units. So let's just be the person who's buying one unit. Most like most normal people. When we sell these multiple a day, by the way, and I would say ninety five percent of the people who buy combi bars either buy one or they buy two. I, I rarely, uh, I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I do sometimes sell five or ten combi bars at a time. But most, the vast majority of people buy one or two at a time. So let's just be the vast majority of people who just buy one combi bar because they just want to get their feet wet with some fractional silver. Okay, what happens? Well, if you're on the Money Metals website, there are some additional charges that will be incurred for just buying a single combi bar. You're not going to get free shipping because your order total is going to be under $199, right? You are not going to, you're going to have to, you know, depending on where you live, you'll have to pay the tax. You'll have to pay the shipping. You'll have to pay, uh, if you're paying with credit card, you're going to have to pay a credit card fee as well. Okay. That is your wire price. That is your instantly sending them money or doing e-check or something like that. That's it. So on, on our SBS website, price is the same no matter how you pay. If you pay with your credit card and you want to rack up your points or whatever on your credit card, cool. That's how most people buy on our website because why wouldn't you, right? Um, 
it's the easiest way and the quickest way to ban the SPS website. And actually, I noticed this morning when I was on the Money Metals website before, I wasn't able to pay with credit card. Now I'm able to, but with an added fee. And that's how most stores operate. I thought it was so funny that Money Metals didn't accept credit card before. So that's very cool that they do that. Um, so what happens when you look at your out the door price for both websites? Well, this is what happens. Okay, for a single combi bar on Money Metals, I'm going to have to pay my tax. I'm going to have to pay my shipping. I'm going to have to pay the credit card processing charge because I'm paying with a credit card. I'm not wiring them the money, right? I'm, so my out the door price for a single combi bar on Money Metals is actually $195.43, okay? Now, there are ways to beat that premium, right? To, you know, if you live somewhere else, maybe, you know, you won't get charged a tax. Maybe if you uh, pay bought a couple of combi bars, you wouldn't have to pay the shipping right? Maybe if you uh, paid a different way, you wouldn't have to pay the credit card processing fee, right? In that case, you can actually come out ahead there. 164.52 would be your price if you didn't, if you somehow bypassed all of those three things. So then you're coming out ahead here because the SPS price is, you know, you saw it before is 172.50 and after all of a sudden then it's 172.50, okay? So that's pretty cool. You can actually still beat the SPS price. Now, I haven't factored in, like, for example, we've got a couple gold tier subscribers. Our gold tier subscribers get everything for 15% off. <laughs> so they could literally they could literally get these for 140 something, and we're selling that at a loss, but we like to give some perks to our gold tier customers. And we also have a silver tier, and we have a copper tier, so the copper tier people get 5% off. The silver tier people get 10% off. The gold tier people get 15% off. So if you were a copper, silver, or gold tier subscriber... Uh, on SBS and you're paying your you know your tiny little fee every every month then you would actually come out ahead of the money metal spray so that's just something to note as a buyer right now it's cool you know you spend five hundred dollars I was saying before that you spend five hundred dollars and you get a uh, 50, 90 percent silver coin Kennedy well to them they they sell those for about eleven dollars per pop if you commit to buying ten so for them that's an eleven dollar value they're giving an eleven dollar value for free if you commit to buying five hundred dollars right and if you commit to spending two hundred dollars then they'll give you free shipping cool well how about on the SBS website you commit to buying one item even if it's a five dollar item and you'll get free shipping cool so that right there beats money metals now I, I'm not in the business of actually giving away silver coins for free, but since they think that that is such a deal, I actually laughed at that. I was like, why are they even promoting this as a deal? Who gives a crap? Who the heck is going to spend $500 just so they can get a silver coin? It's cool. It's nice. Free silver is awesome, but that's a that's a very difficult barrier of entry for, for a 90% silver coin. So I thought to myself, if they're, you know, if that's their idea of a promotion, let me show people what an idea of an actual promotion is. Something that would actually excite individuals. I don't know if this would excite people. I was thinking to myself as a buyer, if I was a buyer and somebody, some other store was offering this as a promotion, I might just, I might just hop on the deal because even though I don't really particularly like junk silver, I might just hop on the deal because that's an actual deal. Now, to me, getting a free silver coin and guaranteed for it to be a Kennedy. I like Benji's more than Kennedy's, first of all. So for me, the idea of getting a free Kennedy isn't even that appealing, right? To me, it's just appealing because there's silver in it, and I'm like, okay, cool. So, but to me, the idea of having to spend $500 to get the Kennedy is just nonsensical. I would never, I would never do it. Now, if somebody told me, hey, uh, you know, there's a limit one per person, but hey, if you spent 50 bucks on something, I will give you a free, not a candy, but I give you a free 90% Benji. Can you imagine? I mean, these to me are just a $20 cost basis. So to me, I would be crapping myself. I would be like, are you crapping me? You're going to give me a $20 coin if I spend $50. And I was telling my wife the other day, I was like, hey, what if they had, you know, a really nice dress or outfit or something that you wanted? It was worth 20 bucks. And they say, hey, we'll give you this for free. And all you got to do is, you know, spend... Fifty dollars in the store on this stuff that you like, anyways. <laughs> she was just like, "Oh, I would hop on that, right?" So exactly, I would too. I would probably hop on that. And so I thought to myself, you know, there are very many customers who are very loyal. We have some very nice customers and some wonderful customers, and they're very loyal. And so I, I don't want to leave them out either. I want to 
give everybody this opportunity, but I also don't want to go bankrupt in the process of trying to make people happy. So what I thought I would do is, in lieu of this wonderful promotion that Money Metals is providing, the free Kennedy 90% silver coin, I advise you, go go there, find some nice priced items, and you know take advantage of that deal. That would be a really nice deal to take advantage of. And in the meantime, you could also take advantage of a deal that will run on the SBS website, where you'll get a free circulated Benjamin Franklin first year, first year Benji. You'll be guaranteed a first year Benji, either a Denver Mint Mark or no Mint Mark. And the barrier of entry is that instead of spending $500, you just have to spend $50, okay? And this is gonna be basically running while the coupon code still works. So I'm going to basically put a coupon code. Uh, yeah, that's the way that this is going to have to work because I don't have unlimited Benjis to give away <laughs> with $50 orders. So I'm going to limit this to maybe like, let's say 10. Maybe I, I might even limit it to 15 or 20 max. And I'll put a coupon code where it'll be limited and the coupon code can only be used once per person. And when you use that coupon code, you'll basically get a free Benjamin Franklin half dollar and I'll make the coupon code something easy like the coupon code will be free Benji F R E E B E N J I so if you go on the silver bar stacker website right now and you place an order of that amounts to a subtotal of $50 or more and you and you use the coupon code free Benji you will literally get a free first year Benji with your order just going to toss it in with your order all you have to do is spend 50 bucks you can spend more you can spend 500 if you want i wouldn't i would be very happy about that but if you spend 50 dollars, whether you're a first-time customer whether you're a repeat customer it doesn't matter i will give you a first year benji with your order so i think that that is an actual promotion worth taking advantage of. I, you know maybe for you also the money metals promotion is also worth taking advantage of and maybe you want to get yourself a nice example of one of each you know uh 90 silver coin Right, in that case, take advantage of both, right? <clears throat> now, another thing that I wanted to talk about was actually our vintage curated bins and our mystery boxes. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about this because we've got a couple repeat customers this week, uh, individuals who rolled the dice on our SBS rare vintage bin. Now, we've got many, many vintage bins and mystery boxes available on the SBS website, and that's something that makes our website unique, right? That's another thing that makes our website unique. It's not just the free shipping. It's not just the fact that we specialize in vintage and we always have vintage available and we're not a store that specializes in generics, right? One of our downfalls, actually, is that if you want to buy, if you're a stacker, right? If you're a stacker and you're trying to get stuff as close to spot as possible, well, then the SBS website is a terrible place to shop. We don't have anything for under like $30 an ounce, right? Our cheapest stuff is around $30 an ounce. And now I, I would say that's kind of around in the form of our premium junk bin right now actually it's priced at 35 you see the premium junk bin down there is our kind of our lowest premium option on the sbs website that's 35 dollars you're guaranteed to get one ounce of silver there uh but you're going to get things like legal tender coins and quite frankly we're drying up on the supply of our premium junk and so i'm not saying we're going to kind of discontinue our uh premium junk bin but you know we might reduce the price soon uh, and stock up hopefully on some lower priced you know uh, not generic items, but non-vintage items. So some nice premium non-vintage items, maybe some nice legal tender coins, maybe some, you know, some nice designed, some ni nice generics with nice designs. That's the type of stuff that you can expect to find in the premium junk bin. And the reason why it's priced at $35 an ounce and generally doesn't go further below, like when we run it on a fire sale, it goes down to like 30 bucks, right? And if, if we were able to kind of source some very, very nice um, premium quality bullion, then we... Uh, for a good price then we might be able to offer that at around 30 bucks but right now the things that we kind of have are like american silver eagles canadian silver maples things like that and so the pricing is kind of appropriate at around 35 bucks an ounce but what i'm trying to say is on the sbs website that's kind of the cheapest it gets 30 to 35 bucks is kind of what you're going to get for your random design vintage bins your random design non-vintage bins and then if you're trying to buy something specific right like a prospector round for example a prospector round is going to be your I would say you're one of your cheapest vintage items or one of your cheapest really items that you could buy on the SBS website if you're trying to buy something 
that you know what you're getting, right? All these rare vintage bin, SPS vintage bin, premium junk bin, these are all SPS curated stuff. So you don't know what you're going to get. But a lot of people, especially our repeat customers, they're the ones who especially like to roll the dice on these vintage bins. And we actually sold four units, actually, of several units of our SPS rare vintage bin. So that's something I kind of wanted to talk about, right? Like, we've got our vintage bin, which you might just get, you know, prospect rounds and go hard bars that are a little bit more common, things like that. Um, Amark chunkers, things like that. You start getting into the SBS rare vintage bin, yeah, it's $100. That's per, the per ounce cost. So $100 per ounce is crazy, but you're going to get something very, very special in that bin. And so <laughs> there's some repeat customers. They love what they get every single time and they're willing to roll the dice. And so I just wanted to make you all aware that there are these options as well. If you're trying to beat the premiums, you're a little bit turned off by the pricing on the SBS website. Sometimes there's nothing that you can do about this. Sometimes you have to go shop somewhere, maybe like Money Metals, that they specialize in bullion. You have to be a savvy stack. You might have to buy larger orders to kind of beat the premiums and things like that. Um, but sometimes you might just, as the you know the collector, and you might just want to be picking up you know a piece or two, and you just you know you find something special on the SBS exclusive section, and you might just want to bite the you know roll the dice on it, and you know you find that. You weren't able to find that item anywhere else and so for you it's something that's a little bit special and that's why you like it so this is just something that i want to let you all know about we have the vintage bins we've got the mystery boxes available so we've got the starter packs and the monthly samplers available and there's very very many cool unique things that you can find in the sps exclusive section um as always it's sunday and so following our weekly video we have our weekly whatnot auction so please 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 do feel free to join us we're going to be doing our mystery box event where we have a nice prize pool of items and we literally draw through all of them in an anonymous way so if you want to come check out our auction there's very very many deals to be had there are always deals and steals to actually to be had in our weekly auction and there's always people coming out with unheard of deals actually and also sometimes people overpaying a little bit for items because it is a mystery event so we hope to see you there and if not we will see you all next sunday thank you all for tuning in and apologies for the long long video but hope you found it helpful cheers I'll go, 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 I'll go,